kind of answer. Because you yeah, raised yeah, money for charity to buy a new gaming PC? Oh, no. So you think that'd be a cut. They're like, we're going to take down uh, this St. Jude shit. Here's your, here's your portion. <laughs> it's like, okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> we're actually making a joke about Never mind. We don't have to go over that guy. <laughs> He's taking enough of abuse. Uh, yeah. What do you think about all this, dude? I, I think you, uh, you know, would smartly focus on uh, the point that the Wall Street Journal applied pressure to make uh, that charity give back that money. Poor, poor Google and St. Jude's were just threatened by those evil Wall Street journalists. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, that's what like we were like I was saying earlier too. It's you think St. Jude's was like, yeah, let's give back the no. They were like, okay, please don't write an article about us. Well, somebody did a calculation about private donations that were raised throughout the year for St. Jude's, and I think the twenty-seven or twenty-six thousand, whatever it was that uh, Ralph raised on the heel stream, was a, a significant portion. I mean, like it wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't a fraction of a percent. It was actually pretty hefty. Yeah, I was pretty blown away by how much uh, money uh, Ralph raised. I, I didn't think it was going to get that high. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm really surprised that they're actually refunding charity money. That's that's kind of shocking to me. I'll be honest. It's, that I thought it was. I swear, when someone don't uh, donated to us earlier, we were about an hour and a half into to the show. I literally like even geek heard me. I was like, get out of here! They aren't doing that. And then I just moved on for the next now, did five you boys, minutes. Uh, did Did you talk about the amazing coincidence that Ralph's stream was still functional, even though super chats were disabled, but it was still functional? Until he started talking about the history of the journalist family and the uh, financial scam that they apparently ran. Wait, what? That was interesting. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah. His, oh. did, didn't the super chat like his monetization yeah, so the went was away? Still up. They they had taken super chats. Um, they had disabled super chats about an hour before the stream. I didn't even notice it until the stream had already started. Um, but the stream was still up until we until we started going into her family's history where they had to pay a settlement, plead guilty to a crime for. For using, I guess, foreign drugs uh, for patients. And I think you can Medicare as well if you look if you look into it. So they had to pay. Now, careful, careful, Ralph. You don't want to get Andy pulled. Yeah, up. You know what happens when you talk about Wall Street journalists and well, uh, their connections to potential Medicaid fraud? You don't want to. You don't want Andy to damn. get. Andy These were on, all yeah. published articles, right? I mean, this was just you know easily found through Google. Actually, my wife is the one who discovered it first off, and uh, yeah, there's a ton of articles about about her parents. So. So they're scam artists and they're taking money from cancer kids. So you're saying somebody speculated that perhaps she was bitter at St. Jude because they use FDA approved drugs. And maybe that's, maybe that's where who knows? Going. Somebody might have to dig deeper on that. You never you never know. But um, this is it's kind of remarkable. I mean, if they'd kept the heat just on you, Ralph, uh, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. I, I think it would have been there would have been some pushback and resistance or resistance. I'm sure you would have found a workaround. Uh, but I think that uh, by her needlessly dragging in the charity and then doing that this this is a prime example of a, a corporation or a company an entity uh, shooting itself in the foot there's no way they're going to get good press out of this and yeah. uh whether they release the article or not I, <laughs> I think that as it kind of spreads around it's it's going to be uh one of those kind of media articles that uh, people are going to be like it, it's hard not to take uh, the kill stream side on it like, you know at the end of the day it's 27 grand for kids with cancer so i mean no matter how you try to spin that, it doesn't look good to take that away from them. Um, so I, I think this was a, a devastating miscalculation. Well, most sane people look at that and say, well, I don't care what they said. I mean, it's 27,000 for kids with cancer, 26,000. Um, I, I don't really care, you know, who's raising that money out. You know, I want the kids with cancer to get it. And yeah, I said just what you said earlier in the show, if they did just kept the heat on me, you know, yeah, there'd be some people pissed off about it, but it wouldn't be nearly the the big deal it is now when they when they drug St. Jude just needlessly. I mean, if you just look through our streams, there's plenty of material uh, to use to to take us down. Well, what, well, why even go to well the and the crazy Jude? thing too is, I mean, uh, Jared Holt watches your shit, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, he watches your show, um, and you know, people. Were, I was making jokes. Other people were making jokes about him writing articles about it the next day, and he he didn't even. I think even he was somebody that realized, like, yeah, that's probably not. That's not some heat that I want to bring down on my head, uh, fucking with charity money for kids. But yeah, like no, I was saying earlier, to, I was saying earlier, yeah, like what you said, it's like if they had just fucking focused on you, the pushback, the resi uh, resistance would be from fans and this and that. But what they've done is now they've given us, they uh, gave us something where it's like everyone will back us up. No one gives a fuck about the politics over the cancer kids 
fucking cash. Now we're fucking making hashtag WSJ kills kids trending right now. Uh, people like are actually caring about this story. You know what I mean? Whereas mainly your fans or freedom of speech fans would be f- focused on your story originally. Now it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, and I mean, here's the thing of it too, is I don't, I, I don't think it's the middleman with the charity processor, you know, the company that goes through before it goes to St. Jude's. And I don't think it's really St. Jude's itself. Uh, they had a month to get outraged about it. They didn't. Um, and I don't think it's even YouTube or Google. I mean, I like shitting on their corporate culture. We've all seen the Breitbart leaks where they hug each other and talk about liberal politics. I, I think this is really just the Wall Street Journal wanted another you know, notch uh, on their belt. They wanted another head to pike in the front yard. Uh, they tried it with PewDiePie. They tried it with just other newer media entities to try to you know, to find something to needle it and pick it apart uh, to show that it's pro- – I mean, she used the terms problematic, you know. Uh, to, to find something to tear it down. Um, it's something they've done before. It's something they'll try again. And I, I think that everybody that kind of comes across them doing this, they're like, I don't want to fucking deal with this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And like you said, if, if, and I said this earlier too, if this would have happened the day after the stream or the next week, you know, it would have, you'd have been like, okay. And we even talked about like, okay, there's going to be some type of shit. But it didn't because they, they, they didn't really care about it until they were made to care about it, about this, you know, from this reporter trying to, you know. Now, Ralph, I, I, I hate to divert into a side issue here, but have you seen the cheerleaders? Have you seen uh, Drolasta and Wasley and Proud? We're uh-huh. all celebrating and saying, oh, who cares? And, uh, you know, uh, they're bigots. Their whoa, money whoa, should whoa, be wait. charity. Wait, wa- whoa, that, whoa. Yeah. Wasley said this shit? Yeah, yes. I just Wasley. I read what? it on the stream. I just read it. I put it in the D. I put it in our. I didn't know it was Wasley. Uh, oh, I, oh, I didn't see that yeah. shit. What the fuck? Yeah, no, they're all they're all doing their little cartwheels. I don't know about Bronx Blogger. I didn't look at his uh, his Twitter, but yeah, Drillasto was I think should talk. Wasley uh, should be fucking count, oh. count Dankula. Wasley was just tweeting out in the wind. Uh, our little friend Kraut was was out there. I'm sure they're they're all doing it. Uh, I think Shit Rat though ran for cover. I don't know what he's doing. He deactivated his really account did. actually. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah he, <laughs> he doesn't want any he, part of this. Wow. Yeah, hold he's on. Gonna what, take a couple what, weeks off from Twitter. That's literally what he tweeted out. Yeah, Wasley's such yeah, a fucking. Yeah. Oh, I hate Wasley. Such a uh, fucking dirty fuck. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, yeah, yeah, I, I, I was trying to find the actual tweet because somebody had put the image up of what uh, Sharat had uh, put out. Yeah, it, it, it's just it's a really weird situation. I, yeah, I think that journalists really miscalculated with the charity angle. Um, and maybe maybe uh, JF was correct when he tweeted out earlier. He's like, I don't think they're going to actually put the article up. I think they might be maybe potentially regretting the uh, fallout of it. I don't think they're going to put it out at all. And I think she knew last night, or I guess it wasn't last night, sometime between 6 a.m. and 1, 1 a.m. Eastern, I mean, 1 p.m. Eastern, she privated her Twitter. Because I went through, once I saw the email, I went through and looked through her Twitter, looked at some of her stories, and I said, well, that's not really the person I want to talk to. It's, it's I, I see where they're headed with this. When I got up at about 1 p.m. Eastern, her Twitter was privated. Uh, everything was locked down. Somebody told me she deleted her Facebook. I think she got word back from St. Jude that they were going to be refunding these donations, and she knew what was going to happen with this. That, that's just my that's my view on it. There's no way to prove it. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't really followed up on what she's doing in particular. I mean, I know she pro- or protected her account, I guess. Yes. Um, I haven't followed up super close on what the journalist is doing, but yeah, just, just watching it kind of like I woke up this morning and, uh, you know, I'm looking, everybody's like, yeah, did you see the Killstream got hit? And then I'm reading up on it and it's like Wall Street Journal, really? <laughs> and then looking at the articles and stuff and I was like, fuck, this is fucked up because I was looking forward to watching the midterm elections coverage, you know? Uh, yeah, and then, we're going to figure out something for that. But yeah, yeah. 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 And then uh, out of fucking nowhere, um, <laughs> out of fucking nowhere, the charity starts refunding shit. And I was like, OK, I like a good dumpster fire, I like a good shit storm. I've always been very open about this. And I think. The Wall Street Journal has self-immolated in the street covered in shit. So I think this is going to be a hell of a show. By the way, uh, uh, Jared Holt wrote this. Wall Street Journal likely did this, uh, did its due diligence and reached people for comment on a story. And these YouTube folks who made all their money uh, grifting off alt-right are absolutely furious right now. The stream in question was hours of Holocaust denial and the, don- and the donations were routed to St. Jude. And he quoted me, actually. He's, he's quoting my my status. Uh, thanks, Jared, for the 
for that. And he goes, now they're atting Fox News hosts to try to get the story's attention. Wall Street Journal and Fox News are both properties of the Murdochs. That yes, should go true. well for them. Yeah. That's, that's actually that's, true. That's yeah. actually very true. But I mean, you know, uh, I think Keemstar said it earlier. Well, if you were a journalist, wouldn't you want to cover the, the charity stream? Wouldn't you want to cover Ralph Super Chats? Fair play. Um, you Wouldn't you want to cover this if you're a right wing or right leaning media outlet with the headline, Wall Street Journal denies dying children $27,000 in aid? I mean, that's the fucking headline that comes around yeah. very rarely. So, Somebody I mean, if you has want to, to talk about it, yeah, press <laughs> coverage, Jared. Uh, that's I put in the right chat. Right I put in the side chat the archive for David Charette's uh, post before he before he uh, deleted his account or whatever. Hashtag WSJ kills kids is the hashtag we're. Uh, <laughs> That's the hashtag you want. With? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, how, yo, how many, how many, how many tweets with that hashtag in it, uh, Ralph? Oh, uh, let me check. Let me check again, and I'll let, okay. Let's see. Let me refresh Hashtag, this. Hashtag. You know, um, I'm reminded. What was the Sam Hyde tweet where he said, "Remember, these people want." Uh, what was it? You know the one I'm talking about? The election tweet. Yes, I do actually. Um, they want to brainwash. Hold on, let me see if I can find the. Uh, oh, quote. Jeff Holiday is shitting on this as well. <laughs> oh, here, here goes the Sam Hyde thing. Uh, do not forget that these people want you broke, dead, your kids raped and brainwashed, and they think it's funny. Oh, that's the. Uh, that's I, the, I think it's fairly apt, considering uh, the Wall Street Journal just took twenty seven thousand dollars away from dying cancer. <laughs> that's, that's brilliant. That's a, that's a great PR. That's uh, so, that's just that's their version of fuck optics. I'm going in. I guess I don't know what they're doing. Yeah. So it looks like we've had it's it's what well over twelve thousand tweets. Uh, Ten thousand in the th- in the three p.m. to four p.m. There was uh, ten thousand seven hundred. Oh, so and that's that's in the central time zone. So that's hashtag WSJ kills kids. It's in the title of my show here. Um, <laughs> yo, and yeah, like Jeff Holiday's jumping on now on this. Basically, everyone we fucked in the ass recently for 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 being little fucking doxing faggots or little gay op faggots are all like, well, they just want you gone, Ralph, no matter what the consequence is, yeah. even if that includes dying cancer kids. Hold on. Is Jeff here's, here's or a, against? Well, here's a question for Jeff and all the other people bringing this up, and even for the Wall Street Journal. Um, YouTube could have refunded Super Chats from any stream, but they refunded the ones that they don't get a portion of. Oh. All the charity money is 100% to the oh. charity. YouTube doesn't take a cut, but the ones that YouTube does take a cut from, they kept. Fuck. That's fuck. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Oh, so believe shit. me, there, there, there are angles to this story that are going to be real entertaining over the next week as we watch <laughs> people do videos and write little articles. Oh, about by the way, my, my wife's Twitter account just got limited, by the way. Uh, what? Uh, what? For which tweet that was for, but for a whole day, yeah. Please, please stop taking money from cancer kids. Limited account. Shut up, lady. <laughs> oh, wow, everyone keep retweeting everyone's tweets and shit, man. This is fucked up. Uh, I really hope that the 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 media does fucking pick this up, man. They better pick this fucking up. Way to twist your mustache there, Wall Street Journal. Jesus Christ. You guys really did. A, yeah, that was even being on that side of the political spectrum. Like you have some common sense, some decency, anything. Any- well, has this ever happened before uh, to the other side? I mean, I can't remember reading an article about, uh, you know, somebody shutting down a fucking fundraiser uh, and refunding the money that like Antifa did or something. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I think this is the first instance where I've seen this actually play out. Damn, you're right. Well, from what I I remember, if anyone knows any different, please DM me on Twitter. Let me know. The fuck? Oh wow! Somebody just sent me a a, a fucking image. Holy shit! Hold on. <laughs> what, what, hilarious. What, what is it? Hold on, I'm gonna throw it in the side chat. Okay. Should I not? Open it on on stream. No, no, totally open it on stream. It's fucking okay. hilarious. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, all right. It says the Wall Street Journal. 
And oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's I, the one I, Jim put I, out. Yeah, I put that oh, out yeah. earlier, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes to make an omelet, you got to break some eggs. <laughs> <laughs> a, little, a little Trudeauism in there for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and here's why that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. My stomach's hurting. Now let me ask you oh. something, Jim. While you're here, uh, I'm about to, I'm about to hop off soon because I got to figure out what we're doing tonight. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, what what do you think about the future of super chats? How much longer before uh, everybody's goes goes up? Oh no, I, w- I was really open about this for like the past six or seven months. I mean, I, I think it's a limited thing. Remember, I told you that I thought YouTube, Google, Alphabet, whoever you want to say, is you know at the top in these decisions. Um, I, I think they want to attract people to stream on their platform. They want to be in competition with Twitch. Uh, and so to do that, they've been very lax about it because it draws in a big crowd. And that's why you get streams that have, you know, anywhere from 5,000 to like 100,000 people watching, depending on who's hosting it. Um, but I, I said, you know, give it like a year, a year and a half, and you'll start to see regulations come in because they'll have the audience then. And then they can start dropping the hammer kind of like Twitch does. I mm-hmm. think the Google moderation bot is going to be the first approach. Um I, I think they're they're rolling it out and testing it and seeing how it does, how it fares with large amounts of you know incoming chats and super chats. Uh, I'd say give that three months for them to really push the algorithm on what they censor, and then I say you know so maybe like in the next half a year, mm-hmm. I, I think you're going to see the hammer drop on what you can say, when you can say it, who's allowed to stream, who's allowed to get monetized from streaming. Um, so this would be the perfect opportunity for Plexstorm to really That's up it. True. You know what I mean? Oh. And uh, make sure integration with Streamlabs and shit like that is working flawlessly. Make sure that uh, everybody can jump on it. This is the perfect window for a, com- a competitor that already exists or has the ability to exist. Yeah. Uh, to kind of hop in and do something. Because if there's somewhere else people can go, they will go there. But yeah, I, I don't think it's always limited. You know, the amount of freedom to do the shit you want to do, to say the stuff you want to say, to even now spend your money the way you want to spend it. Um, is fairly limited, and that window is closing every single day. I did a video a year ago called A Bigot's Dollar, kind of talking about this in relation to ad monetization. You know, how, how does that help a company? Does it hurt? Do you care where the money comes from? Do you care where the, you know, the donations and sponsorships come from? So, yeah, I, I think we're kind of in the twilight of YouTube as a monetization source for people That's that are trying to do that seriously. So I look for greener pastures. Uh, maybe go to Twitch and just... Never say a bad word and don't fart too loudly because they'll ban your ass immediately. And if you're going to go to Plex Store, make sure you got a great set of tits because that's going to really fucking help with that audience. Well, Andy's been wanting to show his dick off to everybody. So yeah. I mean, if we go over to Plex Store, there we go. Yeah. There you go. All right. well, I, I, I got to jump too. Yeah, we have to edit the stream too I'm anyway. Out. Thank you, Andy. Thanks, guys. For yeah. Then, uh, thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah, take it easy, guys. All right, please, later, please, dudes. Perfect timing. 